Hello, welcome to figure form 45. Thank you for your time checking my video. This is my review of the McPerlin DC Multiverse Steel, uh, which they say is the Reign of Superman version. If you are new to my channel, please leave a like and subscribe if you like my video. This will really help me a lot in making more of these videos. First, the packaging. Uh, this is a normal release and it came with the standard McPerlin uh, packaging. So that's steel, ring of the Superman. And that's the bottom. Then at the top, there's that open window with, this, with DC multiverse and then steel at the side. Then at the back, I love this artwork. Steel is one of the Actually, it's not one. It's the only character that I actually love that came out from the, you know, Reign of the Superman storyline. I think this character is really cool. Anyway, that's for the packaging. Uh, when McPerlane announced that they will be releasing a steel figure, I was really excited because, as I said, steel for me, is my only favorite character that came out of the Reign of Superman uh, storyline. I remember going to the comic shop and then buying my first Reign of Superman comic book. And the first time I saw him on the page, I just really think that his design is really cool. And upon reading the, the portion of the storyline that involves him, I really think that among the four Superman in the Reign of Superman storyline, he still is the one that have the heart of a Superman. And that's why I really love him. And I've always wanted to have uh, uh, him in action figure form. To be honest, uh, if you follow my channel, you know that I uh, that one of my favorite Mafex figure is that steel figure. If you can... Uh, 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 if you will see my review on that, I was really amazed by, by that figure. That is a, for me, that is a perfect steel figure. But I also want, you know, the McFarlane version, a McFarlane version of steel, because uh, the McFarlane figures I can play around uh, without worrying that they will break. Unlike the higher end figure like Mafex, wherein I usually just post them. In the in my uh, display cabinet, um, that is it. But the McFarlane, I I, act, I can actually play around with them, post them, take pictures with them without worrying that I'll be breaking them. Now, I have this. I basically have two issues with this figure. First, the obvious one is the hammer. I mean, look at that. It is bent. It actually came out of the box this way. Yeah. From out of the box, it is like this. It is dented. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I, I, I've always been... I've always want... I, I've always commented this on the... Weapons of McFarlane. I wish they use a different material, plastic material on their weapon because they always through time. But this one straight out of the box, it is like this, which 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 just lose the which you know which remove the cool factor. I mean, this is a well designed hammer. You can see that the details are there. It's not just a plain you know like a flat. Thing. There are details on it. It has the, and then even the handle have details. But the problem is the plastic quality. Uh, I think they should have really used hard plastic on the handle, especially if it is going to be this long. Because yeah, straight out of the bag, it is like that. And as you can see, when he, I was making him hold him, 
gravity, you know, gravity becomes your enemy because through time it just goes down like that. So that's my issue number one on this figure. Another issue that I have on this figure is when I think of steel, I think that and this one, I know it's depend on the artist. I know I'm not sure if this is a modern version of him because to be honest, I don't read that con mind the comics anymore, but I'm also okay with this. Maybe uh silver and black. I'm okay with it, but what they did is <clears throat> I know I feel like dark gray and blue. I don't know. The first time I saw this, I was thinking on the S, the white. I mean, look at that painting. But okay, maybe they're going for the, you know, since he's steel and he basically forged this armor on his own. So he's not on his Stark who will always have a shiny armor. So if they're going for that effect, I'm okay with it. So I'm okay with that, with this, looking like this, like it is a little worn out, like it's not the perfect, you know, since he just basically forged this armor on his own. And as I said, he's not on his Stark. He's not, uh, he's not that rich. So, okay, they're going for that. Look, I'm okay with it. But my problem is this. I'm not sure if you see it. Do you see that? I'm not sure if they're trying to make a bottle damage version on intention, but I mean, look at that. It looks like slappy painting for me. At first, when I actually got this out of the box, I thought that, oh my God, did I get a copy with bad painting? I mean, look at the head. Look at that. You see that? Then I was thinking, oh, so maybe, may, I'm not sure, guys, if, if you have your own copy of this, is it really does it really look like this? Did they intentionally do that? Because I think that it is a blue plastic and then they painted gray on it sloppily. That's the finished product that I see. Maybe they're trying to do the um the silver and blue effect like that one. Well, they should have used a lighter gray then. Or at least silver over the blue. But what they did is, I'm not sure, but I have the impression that the plastic is blue and then they painted it slappily with gray. Or they're trying to make it look like battle damage. But anyway, if they're experimenting on this kind of technique, it's it just looks slappy. It doesn't look good. I mean, look at that. If that is intentional shading. If they're trying to experiment on style and how to make shading, I'm telling you now, it doesn't. It, it's not. Look, it doesn't look good for me. This is actually the one. Okay, maybe this one. There. This is actually what I'm thinking that maybe they did on tension. But I mean, look at that. It doesn't look good. I think in the case of this one, it is gray over blue, but. I, I I think I ha I have an idea on what they're trying to on the effect on the finish on the effect that they're trying to do but I mean, look at that but for me it just looked like slap it, it doesn't really have a good finish ending I think they should have experimented on a different way to execute it if, if their intention is to make him look like it's a little battle damage because I mean look at that even on the belt there, I mean, there, uh, it just looks like slappy painting for me. Anyway, that's my second complaint on this figure, the paint job. If this is done intentionally, intentionally uh, don't do it again. I think the, the style or the execution that they did here, didn't work. If they, if they, just in case they're experimenting, don't do it. The the final the final product doesn't really look that good. It just looked like sloppy painting for me. Now with those two issues that I have out of the way, 
as far as the sculpt is concerned, I love it. The sculpt is amazing. This is steel. Again, just ignoring the paint job and just focusing on the sculpt. Yeah, this is steel. I, I don't know if this is a completely 100% used sculpt or reuse. I don't care. It looks good and for me it works. Just look at that. And I love the fact that the cape is not in the wrong position. I just wish that McFarlane stopped using thick, you know, thick plastic for the cape and stay with those thin one, the one same thing that they did with the old man and then the page puncher uh fighting the frozen. The cape, the material that they use on the cape on those figures is so soft that I think it's even better than cloth. Anyway, in the case of this one, it is really not that thick, so it's okay, but yeah, really wish that it is thinner, you know, the same material that they use on the, on the other figures that they produce. But the sculpt is amazing. The cape is amazing. It is it has an amazing sculpt. I love it when they just do it in like in a vanilla sculpt because it will give you more option in, in posing the figure. Okay, going back on the sculpt. I mean, just look at that head sculpt. Look at that detail that they gave. Yeah, amazing, amazing sculpt for this. I love it. But yeah, maybe when I just really don't have the to be honest, I want to paint it. I want to custom paint it, but I just really don't have the place in my home right now where I can do, you know, uh, when I where I can spray paint it because yeah, I just don't have the area. But for you customizers, this is a good mold. Just a really just a bad paint, so. This is a good canvas to paint, and if you can make it look like that, this will be this will really look amazing. I'm even ignoring the fact that so that they you may see that the S is is not correct, but I think on some or it depends on the artist that draws him. I think in like this one, I think this one it's correct. Yeah. Uh, if I remember the art of the the of the original Reign of Superman comics, which is not that one, I think, I think that's already the the uh, the, the that's the not the original art of it. I forgot the name of the artist, but I think he was drawn this way. So I'm okay with it. For me, this is still steel. So as far as the sculpt and the aesthetic. This is still definitely A+. Plus. Adding to that, the proportion. When I think of steel, I'm thinking of a really huge dude. So this is a very big figure. It, I think uh, it is around seven and a half inches. So I think it's the same size as uh, Hush Batman, which I, I, which I believe is the tallest Batman. Yeah, but it's still um, uh, so maybe that's good scale. Yeah, but, uh, when I think of steel, I know that it's a little taller and add to that the fact that it is a well scale well proportioned figure I think that the legs and the hands are also are also 
uh, are also perfect in this figure. I just really want to better. Because I know that I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not going to have the time to paint this, custom paint this. I wish McFarlane would issue this with a better paint job. Because that's my only complaint with it. But still... <laughs> So you can put them on a flight post if you would add that. So yeah, that's a pretty nice flight post. So, yeah, I think that would work. That would work. So, that's a really nice one to add. In the case of this one, I think the, the, this shoulder armor was done correctly. I love that they did it like this instead of connecting it to the you know, to the shoulder itself, so it doesn't, you know, rotate together with the hand. So again, standard McFarlane articulation. And as usual, the ab crunch, the ab and the and the waist, uh, waist articulation, you can lean back pretty well, but you cannot lean forward that well. That actually. Now, because his hand, his head can look down there pretty much. That's why, yeah, that's actually not that bad. It's actually not that bad. But it's because of the range of the head, not the ab and the waist. The, it, yeah, I, I think that's something that we probably need to work on. The articulation for him to look, you know, look forward. Side to side is okay. Then the I love the diaphragm that they use here, but I think as far as the material, I think it is too hard. That's why I find that it limits his articulation. So yeah, there it's already there. The back, yeah, you can force it, but yeah, it it will really stretch out that the diaphragm so that's hard pla this is hard plastic as compared to the usual material that they use so that's why i think it limits the articulation but you can still do that that actually works then that and the toe articulation yeah Typical McFarlane articulation. Okay, overall for me, as far as the sculpt, it is still worth the buy. The glaring issue that I think the, the people will have on this, that will they have second thought of buying this, is really the paint job. Unless this is actually a real QC issue on my copy, I don't know, but if it is not, and it was really intentionally done this way to have to a specific look, I think they missed the mark on that one because the finished product on on the style that they did in painting this, I don't know. I had I just had the impression that it is sloppy painting instead of having the effect for me to me that you know it is a little barrel damage or something like that. So uh, that's for you to think about, guys, if you want to buy the, uh, when deciding to buy this figure. Anyway, guys, if you reached this part of my video, thank you for watching. And I hope somehow I'm able to help you decide if you want to get this figure. Me, I am huge, a huge Steel fan. That's why I will definitely buy it. I'm just wish that they reissue this on with better paint you know 
So guys, thank you for watching. And as always, please always take care of yourself.